This is not a cell phone. This is a billion dollar military grade lethal weapon aimed to distract you and cover up the fact that Samsung along with many other popular brands like Patagonia are actually making military grade weapons of destruction all paid for by your everyday purchases. Now not only is this terrifying because the list of companies I'm about to expose might land me in jail or six feet under, but it's also super interesting because they're responsible for some of the most iconic and powerful weapons in human history. When you think of a company like Samsung, you probably think of their TVs, washing machines, or cell phones, but they're actually super good at making things go <laughs> Samsung also makes the K9 Thunder self-propelled artillery, which no, does not shoot dogs. It actually shoots 155 millimeter artillery shells, roughly 60 kilometers, which is ironically the exact distance from the South Korean capital to the North Korean border. What? That's crazy. What a totally random coincidence. Now, obviously that's not all because they also make computers, printers, refrigerators, washing machines, high polymer chemicals, nanotechnology, biomedical engineering, and they also bribe politicians, prosecutors, and other government officials, just like General Electric. I promise, if I disappear after this video, I was taken out. You probably know General Electric from their refrigerators, microwaves, dishwashers, and washing machines, but thanks to you or your parents buying this stuff, you've also helped fund the development of jet engines and the Gatling guns they put on the jet engines, which shoots this at 65 rounds a second. But what happens to the people? Well, since this ammunition also comes in explosive rounds, they turn into a beautiful red mist, but that's what the washing machines are for, which you would generally use for clothes like Patagonia. To the average person, Patagonia is that hip outdoor clothing company rich people wear since it's good for the environment and in any conditions. But have you ever wondered why that is? Well, that's because Patagonia provides the clothing for the United States Special Forces Command. So whether it's the mountains of Afghanistan or the deserts of Pakistan, just know that the next time they break into an extremist compound, they're going to be comfier than all of the enemies. So now speaking of the US military, we may as well go through all of the everyday different companies which help them make their weapons that they use. At some point when you were in school, you probably used a calculator made by Texas Instruments, and thanks to this purchase, you helped fund the Javelin Anti-Tank Missile System, the AGM-88 Surface-to-Air Missile, AGM-123 Anti-Ship Missile, AGM-45 Anti-Radiation Missile, and finally the AGM-154 Laser-Guided Bomb, but things get even crazier. That's because while you were using that calculator, there's a good chance your home or school had an air conditioner, heater, thermostat, or humidifier made by Honeywell, and boy, this stuff they make is insane. Whether it's tanks, missiles, trucks that fire the missiles, F-16s or F-35s, Honeywell is responsible for pretty much any sensor, switch, and cooling to make sure these things work. So just remember that the next time you're changing the temperature in your house, that very same technology is in things that make people go But now, compared to the rest, Honeywell is actually quite innocent because wait until you hear about Dow Chemicals, the inventor of saran wrap. Now obviously, people use this stuff every day, and I'm gonna let you take a guess to see what they actually make. Is it A, medicine, B, tanks, C, stuffed animals, or D, chemical weapons? Well, if you guessed D, then you're right, because they've made chemicals for tear gas, plutonium triggers for nuclear bombs, napalm, Agent Orange for Vietnam, and they are responsible for poisoning a river in Michigan and allegedly an entire town in Colorado. Seriously, at this point, I'm probably gonna disappear, so make sure to subscribe to see what happens to me. Now, obviously, this is pretty bad, but I think we should talk about some of the more obvious companies like Boeing and Northrop Grumman. At some point, you've probably flown on one of Boeing's commercial planes or have seen one of Northrop's mail trucks, but these two are responsible for some of the craziest weapons in the entire US military. Well, how crazy can they be? Well, Northrop Grumman is responsible for the B-2 and B-21 nuclear-capable stealth bombers, the Triton drone, EA-6B Prowler, major components for the F-18 and F-35, along with so many different kinds of offensive and defensive weapon systems, it would take nearly an hour just to list all of them. While on the other hand, Boeing is responsible for the B-52 nuclear-capable stratofortress, AH-64 Apache attack helicopter, tons of different bombs and missiles, the F-15, F-18, and the world's most deadly aircraft, the F-22. But this isn't all, because they also have a secret division called Phantom Works, which makes classified aircraft so futuristic that if I leak anything, you would never hear a word from me again. So I think it's time we should turn our attention to some of the international companies before the FBI breaks my door down. And when you hear the word Phantom, more than likely the first thing you think of is a ghost, but if you're a car person, then you probably thought of a Rolls Royce. Not only do they make some of the most expensive luxury cars in the world, but they also make engines for some of the 
planes you fly on, and also the United Kingdom's strategic nuclear submarines. Wait, what? Yep, you heard me right. According to their very own website, they've powered the UK's nuclear underwater defenses for the last 60 years with the nuclear propulsion plants that they have created. So next time you see one of their cars, just know that those things are the bomb. But now speaking of cars, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Subaru, Mitsubishi, Porsche, or Mercedes? Well, some of you may have thought about rally cars, the 911, or even the G-Wagons that celebrities drive in. But little did you know that all of these companies were part of the Axis Alliance, who built some of the most feared weapons in all of World War II. Mitsubishi and Subaru were responsible for the creation of the Japanese Zero, along with other fighters and bombers, which were some of the main planes to attack Pearl Harbor in 1941. But things didn't just stop here, because they continued to make planes until the end of the war, and things got even more insane in today's age. Not only only does Mitsubishi still make fighter aircraft, but they also now make guided defense weapon systems, submarines, surface ships, the Type 16 mobile combat vehicle, and also the Type 10 main battle tank, which is insane, but at least Subaru has calmed down a little bit, where now all they make is their version of the JG SDF AH-64D Apache attack helicopter. So now that we've learned about the Japanese, don't think I forgot about the Germans. In World War II, Mercedes was one of the main engine suppliers for their army, which was used in Panzer III and IV tanks, along with aircraft and submarines. But Porsche? Well, Porsche went all out. Today, we know Porsche to be the pinnacle of German engineering, with their legendary sports cars, but back in World War II, they had a much darker past. The founder of the company, Ferdinand Porsche, was not only a prominent figure in the German war industry, but also a member of the Nazi party. During the war, Porsche developed one of the most deadly tanks known to man, such as the Tiger II, along with light utility vehicles, amphibious vehicles, and more. But probably the worst of all was the fact that they used prisoners and forced labor to make all of these. So next time you see a family dropping their kids off in a Porsche, just make sure to remind them about the history of it. But sticking with the German companies, they really have a consistent history of doing some wild things. TUI Group is a German travel agency which you may have flown with before, but did you know they were actually once a mining company? Think of this as an attempt to fully rebrand, because they used to be called Prusag AG, which sold chemical weapons to Saddam Hussein and Muammar Gaddafi. Now what chemicals, you may ask? Well, they sold phosphorus oxychloride, which is the main chemical for sarin gas, aka one of the most toxic and deadly chemical weapons known to mankind, which was also banned globally because of the United Nations. The Germans tend to be really good at this weapons thing. But now I think this one has to be my personal favorite. So we all know about the iRobot Roomba, which has become a meme in itself, but did you know they originally had an entire division dedicated to military applications? Instead of just making your friendly cleaning robots that get stuck on carpets, their military robots consisted of things like bomb defusal devices, the Cobra for lifting heavy objects, and they even got to a point where they developed a mobile grenade launcher, but they ended up shutting down this division before things got too insane. So after exposing all of these companies, if I never upload again, I was taken out. So make sure to subscribe and let me know what other companies I should expose next, and we'll see how long it takes before the FBI raids me.